It's the first week of July. We're here in Goodley Gardens, Worcester, Pennsylvania. You can see right in front of you, coneflower or echinacea. Echinos in Greek is translated to mean hedgehog or sea urchin. And you can see the cone on echinacea is a densely spiked prominent cone. This is your traditional echinacea purpura or purple cone flower. It opens petals straight out with a slight little droop. Common place in, in many home gardens. Prominent in, in this garden. Here it is in white. Again opening up petals are straight out and then a slight droop. So today we also want to talk about cone flowers or echinacea that point up here we have Tennessee cone flower that when the petals unfold they reflex straight up and stay that way. Here it is opened. To me the color is a little deeper pink than purpura. And the petals just stand tall the entire time. This is Tennessee coneflower. That's up. And I wanted to show you one more cultivar. I call that Cone flower down. Here's some allium drumsticks, some more echinacea, purple rooster, minarda, some more white. But blooming two weeks, at least two weeks earlier than typical echinacea is echinacea pallida. Now it's described as light purple, but in my garden it always seems like pale pink. It has the typical spiny cone, but its petals droop straight downward and its petals are very thin. Reminds me in some ways of uh, the ears on Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. They droop straight down. Now they, they look a little uh, wilted today. They're nearing the end of their bloom cycle. Recall now that they they bloomed in mid-June. It's now early July. Here's a couple here still coming out and they'll droop down. So cone flowers down, pallida, petals up, Tennessee, from Goodly Gardens in Worcester. And the sheep are still out today.